Alright, well, we're gonna get serious for a minute here and see if I can bring some humor to... What is a religious document? A truly essential one. And I am referring, of course, to the Statement of Principles of the Libertarian Party. And I was so glad to see today Dr. Kenneth Brent Olson tag me in his video. Hi. Um... The reason I'm going live is uh, I was challenged by the chair of the Libertarian Party of California, Mimi Robson, to uh, read this Libertarian Party statement of principles on a live stream. Uh, challenging me in the Libertarian statement of principles challenge. And so I am hereby officially challenging all of you to do the same that I'm about to do to read the preamble and statement of principles from the, the Libertarian Party platform at lp.org slash platform. But I will, I'll play by the rules too for just a second here. And, and I wanna call out uh, some, of, some of my favorite fellow Libertarian presidential candidates. And that would include, of course, none other than John McAfee. John, I would love to see you read the Statement of Principles and, and, and give us your commentary on this. Jacob Hornberger, I'd love to see you know someone who's been in the party for a long time get into this and, and talk about how over the course of your activism this has been relevant to you. For, uh, let's see, I, I, sh I should pick two more. Uh, Dan Berman and, uh, and Arvind Vorha, I'm gonna single these guys out because they are the two, uh, aside from John McAfee, whose platforms I actually respect as fundamentally altering the unethical nature of the federal government of the United States. So there we go. I'm calling y'all out. You four, John McAfee, Jacob Hornberger, uh, Dan Berman, Dan, excuse me, I'm sorry, Dan Taxation, Steph Berman, and Arvind Vorha for the Libertarian Party Statement of Principles Challenge. And if you are familiar with this document, you will... Uh, Feel this as, as a sermon, reading a religious text that, that declares the, the core of what it means to be a libertarian. I would encourage more libertarian party organizations to do this, to open even county meetings, to just say, hey, we're going to start with the reading of the Statement of Principles. And, and I think that it just, it, it's such a beautiful... Anyway, without further preamble, here is the preamble. As libertarians, we seek a world of liberty, a world in which all individuals are sovereign over their own lives and are not forced to sacrifice their values for the benefit of others. We believe that respect for individual rights is the essential precondition for a free and prosperous world, that force and fraud must be banished from human relationships, and that only through freedom can peace and prosperity be realized. Consequently, we defend each person's right to engage in any activity that is peaceful and honest and welcome the diversity that freedom brings. The world we seek to build is one where individuals are free to follow their own dreams in their own ways without interference from government or any authoritarian power. In the following pages, we set forth our basic principles and enumerate various policy stands derived from those principles. These specific policies are, are not our goal, however. Our goal is nothing more nor less than a world set free in our lifetime. And it is to this end that we take these stands. And I know that's not the core statement of principles. That's the preamble. Oh, and look at all those thumbs up. Look, look at all those. Yes. Yes. Libertarian principles win every time. And this is, this is, I haven't even gotten to the good part yet, but I wanted to read the preamble in particular because it has one of my favorite phrases in, in, in all of libertarianism. Our goal is nothing more nor less than a world set free and in our lifetime. And I, you know, I'm a fan of life extension technology, and I think Zoltan Istvan brings a great awareness of that to the party. But you know, if you've got 10 healthy years left on your meat sack, you're not going to die of old age unless you choose to. Yeah, congratulations, you made it. You know, longevity, escape, velocity. But this idea, a world set free in our lifetime, that we acknowledge that this is a long-term struggle. 
that, that this is a, a struggle of human progress measured not in election cycles, but in generations. The statement of principles reads, We, the members of the Libertarian Party, challenge the cult of the omnipotent state and defend the rights of the individual. We hold that all individuals have the right to exercise sole dominion over their own lives and have the right to live in whatever manner they choose so long as they do not forcibly interfere with the equal right of others to live in whatever manner they choose. Governments throughout history have regularly operated on the opposite principle, that the state has the right to dispose of the lives of individuals and the fruits of their labor. Even within the United States, all political parties other than our own grant to government the right to regulate the lives of individuals and seize the fruits of their labor without their consent. We, on the contrary, deny the right of any government to do these things and hold that where governments exist, they must not violate the rights of any individual. Namely, one, the right to life. Accordingly, we support the prohibition of the initiation of physical force against others. Two, the right to liberty of speech and action. Accordingly, we oppose all attempts by government to abridge the freedom of speech and press, as well as government censorship in any form. And three, the right to property. Accordingly, we oppose all government interference with private property, such as confiscation, nationalization, and eminent domain, and support the prohibition of robbery, trespass, fraud, and misrepresentation. Since governments, when instituted, must not violate individual rights, we oppose all interference by government in the areas of voluntary and contractual relations among individuals. People should not be forced to sacrifice their lives and property for the benefit of others. They should be left free by government to deal with one another as free traders and the resultant economic system, the only one compatible with the protection of individual rights is the free market. And that is the Libertarian Party Statement of Principles. 